What's up, guys? Welcome to episode uh, three of Cows and Cataclysm. I am here once again with my uh, good friend, Doctor Nomad. Say hi. Alagmar! <laughs> hey. Hey. Alagmar! Hey. <laughs> hi. Uh, ha happy Halloween, I guess. Happy Halloween, people. Well, at least happy past Halloween, because this might be on on YouTube uh, when Halloween's already like gone. Or past, oh, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Um, sure. but by the way, um, so that quest right there and that quest right there, we're going to just do those. And then uh, that should do it for Agenville, actually, because of the ridiculous high leveling rate. So um, what were we talking about before we actually uh, decided to start recording? Because that's the way it works. Like The uh, them putting water, uh, putting stuff in the water to make the frogs again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that was we were talking about Alex Jones and yeah, like. You were saying, like, uh, he actually says some halfway intelligent stuff sometimes, but um, what is it? The way he, comes he says off... it is it just comes off as a little too crazy. Yeah, he like... comes off like a lunatic. Yeah, exactly. I, so I, I think it's one of those things, though. Um... Oh, shit. Uh, this oh. this mo I might be in trouble here. Uh, my, my pet's dying. Why is this guy yeah. level question mark, question mark, elite? Oh, fuck. Spot run. Oh, now, God, he's rude of me. Oh, your pet is tanking. Come on, we can do it. Come we on, dude, do. come on, come on. We got this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. He's almost dead, though. He's almost dead. Stand your ground. That's Florida. Stand your ground law. St stand your ground. Stand your ground. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, shit, we got him. Yeah. All right, man. What did we get? Ooh. I actually Ooh. got a bow. Guess uh, we'll roll on it. Sure. Oh, by the way, I did. I, I did uh, uh, send you some stuff in the mail, including 500 gold. Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, and some items. I'm because to so everyone asking, like, hey, how did you get 500 gold? You know, from previous episode, you were completely broke. It's like I'm not. I, I wanted to have some money on the server, so I actually leveled a character here, which also allowed me to kind of scout ahead and see what quests are working and what quests aren't working. So I have like a max level here now. With I have. I think a total of 5,000 gold in total right now. So that gives us nice. enough money to do... Uh, to at least level up, I guess I'd say. So that's good. Right. There you go. Right. That's, what, I, that's well, there, what I've been up to. There you go, man. And, you know, see, uh, well, we have one lazy asshole me doing nothing. <laughs> we got Hamster Wheel putting in the hours, putting in the work, and... Uh, yeah, I'm slaving away while my wife's calling me because I'm late for dinner again. And she's banging the milkman and everything. Right. It's like, sorry, right. honey, I gotta level up for Monster Wow. I gotta, gotta do this. Gotta play on this private server, you know. Priorities you know, in UPS life. Yes, man, actually shows up on time. You know, he's not late. <laughs> UPS man. <laughs> yeah. I got a on South you. Park. They all beat the shit out of him. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Uh, was, I think it was the Amazon guy. I don't remember. No, it's UPS guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. The UPS man, and they That's all wear good. fucking Bane masks and everything. It's funny how we always go back to South Park every episode. It's just such, such a good show. It is a good show. I mean, uh, I didn't really care for season 20 at all, but I think the creators of the show came out and said that uh, they could have done a better job with it. So, I mean, it's not like... And, you know, let's be honest here. No show's perfect. There are yeah. going to be... There are going to be seasons where it's just like, uh, it's, it's okay. It's, it's kind of there. Yep. Uh, it just doesn't do as well. So, uh, but the game recently actually just came out. So. Oh right, what's the game called again? Um, it's fractured butthole or something. I don't remember the name exactly, okay. but I remember that uh, uh, people don't like it as much as the first game so far. But you know, who knows? I haven't played it yet, so we'll see. All right. I know. I know it launched with a bunch of DRM, and two days later they managed oh. to crack the game anyway. So, <laughs> at this of point, I, I still don't understand why people are putting DRM in their games. No. It's just, to me, it's counterintuitive. People, if people want to get the game for free, they're going to get it for free. Exactly. I remember this one time, which I think I brought up, of some company or some developer or whatever it was. They said, well, you know, we're, de we're releasing a new game, and this cannot be hacked. This cannot be, like, cracked and put on, uh, on, you, on, on the Internet for free. And I was like, oh, don't say that. Now they're going to try really hard to crack it. And what happened? They got, like, hacked. And I got put online for free on Torrents or whatever in, like, less than a day or something. So Was that was that Spore or uh, Sim, The Sims? 
I have no idea which game it was, but I knew there was someone from the company or developing or whatever that said that it could not be put on the internet via torrents or something, like, for free. And when I heard that, I was like, no, what have you done? Now, now people are going to try really, really hard to hack it or whatever you want to call it. Right. And, well, I mean, I mean, again, like, if it's EA or Activision, you can definitely uh, uh, bet your top dollar on it that they're going to be dumb enough to actually do it. Because yeah. for some reason, Activision and EA just think they're uh, uh, exempt from from everything. They think like, oh, we're this big company, we, we're yeah. this big juggernaut, we can just do whatever we want. It's like, no, bitch, nope. no, you can't. So, and especially you, EA, with your fucking the way you, oh my God, Mass Effect and Andromeda, what the fuck happened? Yeah, what was that all about? Like, I heard I heard about it vaguely, but what was it about? I heard people say it's some SJW bullshit or whatever. Like, what is it about? Tell, tell um, this fucking okay. normie what happened, uh, Dr. Nomad. Okay, well, it's look, this is just because I've been following Mass Effect since before the first game came out. I, yeah. I was a fan of Knights of the Old Republic, games they did on the PC and Xbox. Mm -hmm. So, of course, when they worked on their new series called Mass Effect, which is going to be their own spin on what they uh, think sci-fi should be uh, in a video game form, I was, I was excited. I was very hyped. And the yeah. first two games were incredible. They were like just everything. This, this, they were well thought out storylines. Um, they were they were really self contained games, and then EA bought their company, bought Bioware, and then the games changed. And starting with three, three just while it's a good action game, it's it's decent. Um, story wise, it's a fucking mess. The entire characters were written out. Uh, entire people were just killed off because they didn't know what to do with them. Wow. So it was literally the Godfather 3 of, of Ooh, the series. Look at that. Oh my god. Who's going to win it? Ooh, I want it. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, happy Halloween, buddy. I mean, it's Christmas and Halloween. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm dressed as Santa, so, you know, this. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Can you do that? I guess you can. So, yeah, okay, I get it. I've never played Mass Effect, but it's one of those game series, like Bioshock, which I haven't played too. It's one of those game series I definitely want to play at some point. Oh, by the way, this one drops a quest, I guess. Nice. Nice. And do I, uh, let me activate it. Yeah, and then we go back to uh, the, the, the Splinter Tree post. But is it is it still, despite EA kind of like fucking up, fucking it up apparently, is it still worth playing through or is it now like... Here's, here's what I recommend to anybody. Play the first two games and if you really, really love them, then play through three and four. But I'm going to tell you what. I thought three was a piece of garbage until I played Mass Effect Andromeda this month. Wow, I mean, really? Is it that bad? Holy, it's that bad. It's the game is so unplayable. They thought, and this is another thing, they thought it was a good idea to instead of using the Unreal Engine like they used for the first game, the yeah. first three games, they used the uh, Frostbite Engine. Well, the Frostbite Engine eats about eighty to ninety percent of certain people's CPUs wow. and computers. Yeah, and so the game runs like dog shit. They fucked up the character models, and they, like, there's literally one character in the game. You ask him, "Why did you come on this uh, deep space voyage?" And they get all Tumblr on you, and they say, "Well, I'm here because I'm transgender." And it's like, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> how did you get into? What? How did you get into the spaceship? Well, uh, affirmative action, you know. Yeah, they yeah. They had to have like, like at least ten black people on the ship, so. <laughs> in fact, it was so insulting. People were so insulted by oh, that with, with that one character saying, "I'm on this this deep space voyage because I'm transgender." That did, they did updated you really it in say the patch. That? That's, that's the they rem I'll send it to you. It oh, said there's a part shit. in the game where you talk to a character, <laughs> and the character literally says, "I'm on this adventure with you guys because I'm transgender." But, but when and, I guess when you make a character in Mass Effect, do you get like a, let's say a, a 10% uh, less HP? Or bonus, like a 10% and less HP handicap if you roll as a white male. Is that true too, or what? Well, that, there's another thing. The game shipped with no white, uh, de no default white skin model. What? So all the skin colors were skin colors that weren't pure white. So I'm talking like you know, like pale white, like a, the skin tone. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't ship with that. That was included in an update. Holy shit! The, the whole game was just an SJW <laughs> mess. The game, the game's a fucking mess. Holy I can't shit. play it. My brother keeps getting on me. He's like, hey, Nomad, you're going to beat it? No. No, I'm not going to beat it. It's a piece of shit. All right? <laughs> fuck EA and fuck Bioware. All right. I'm... A, I'm, I'm... Hi. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay. So, 
basically to sum things up, Andromeda is just a piece of shit because of all this like, I guess SJW narrative that's in there that just completely ruins the game or what? Yeah, here you know what? this is how I'm gonna put it. All right. Imagine you play a game by, you know, fuck it. Let's just say it this way. Uh, you know how a bunch of guys like just a bunch of Asian guys and white guys created a. Uh, Vanilla WoW, mm -hmm. and it, I'm not even trying to base it on race. It was just a bunch of guys that love the video game, right? Yeah. Uh, imagine now if you gave that build after you're done with it to a college dorm at Berkeley. Oh Jesus Christ! That's the best way I could put it. Re regard, you know what? In fact, forget race for a minute. Just pretend a bunch of talented people work on a video game. Yeah. Take that talented video game when you're about 80 percent done with it, and then hand it to a college dorm. Oh. Holy shit, that sounds like it's the equivalent of by basically, uh, how do you say, polishing a diamond until it's almost done and then someone taking a dump on it. That's right. <laughs> right. Or, or it's like when we're, uh, when, when you talk to your friend and, you know, and you tell your friend, you know what, you know that one piece of shit? Yeah, I hate that guy. And then you're like, oh, uh, actually, I'm kind of know the guy. And you're like, oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> You want to talk about that? We can just simply talk about that. I, I'm not. I'm not going to include okay. myself in that. Like, okay. So you're pleading the fifth. Okay. You know what? Here, let's let's just put it this way. There's a YouTuber mm -hmm. that recently got raided by 4chan, and I laughed about it, mm -hmm. and I thought it was really funny. And then I talked to Hamster Wheel about it, and then Hamster Wheel's like, uh... Yeah, I actually know the dude. <laughs> I actually kind of know the guy, and I was like, oh. Uh, oh, <laughs> was it was it uh, was it uh, Review Tech USA that got raided or like what happened? <laughs> um, let's just say he's wow content. Okay, and uh, he kind of reacted like a little bitch about it, mm -hmm. and just rolling with the joke. And, you right. know, the guy might actually be a nice guy. I don't know the guy personally. I don't watch his content. Uh, neither did I take part in the raid. I just sort of observed it from a distance, laughed my ass off about it. You were standing on the sideline watch, watching the train wreck happen. Yeah, and uh, believe me, I'm not one of those guys either that sits there and, and just condones Twitch rating or, or, or YouTube rating. Because let's be honest, there are a lot of losers that have nothing better to do than to rate other people's content and make a shit time for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's true. I'm not saying that that doesn't exist, but there are times where it's like, dude, uh, just roll with the joke. All right, yep. Don't, you're, you're taking this a little too seriously. Uh, what the hell? We're, we're gonna have to run. <laughs> what what happened? Like, why is it not connected this time? Because it's. That's a good question. I have no answer to that, Doctor Nomad. Yeah, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Oh, by the way, um, did you pick up your gold? No, I didn't. Let me pick all that shit up now. No, actually, pick up that uh, shit. So it's it's uh titled titled swag. Yep. Because there's gear in there, you know. That's that's. Actual gear. Wow, there's actual gear in here. Yep. So uh, let's click all. The, let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thanks, buddy. All right. So now we can. We should probably head back to a capital city, train our spells, and then we're gonna go to actually uh, Tar Mill, because from there now we'll get from like twenty-five to forty, something like that, even right. bigger probably. So yeah, this That's is good. where we're gonna just cut the video, and we'll see you guys in uh, Tar Mill. All right. So this one right here. Um, here, let me, uh, let me actually, sorry, let me actually put um, my shit on my car for once. Um, hey guys, uh, Special Star Gamer here. <laughs> I love Let's that it's now, it's now a meme because you also added that into, like, the intro screen with, uh... Right. <laughs> special, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I actually did do that, I forgot yeah. all about that, yeah. So it's the Storm yeah. Pike Apocalypse, you can just instant complete that. that I, that's what I discovered while leveling here, so, yay, that's two levels. Yeah, man, look at that. Yeah, fuck Nomad, yeah. <laughs> All right. And then it's really? like, you can also go to this uh, pumpkin. The pumpkin man here. Pumpkin Hill? Yeah, right here. And just click that. And there we go. Like, we're now to level 28, so we can move on. So there we go. That was our meal, people. Yay. <laughs> yeah. I got out. It says I can't carry any more of those. Why can I not carry any more of those? Oh, Maybe shit. Fuck it. Can you like you should have a debuff? Can you unclick that shit or what? I don't know. Yeah. I'm looking. I'm trying to figure this fucking out. What? 
It says handful of treats. Oh, that's what it is. Oh yeah, yeah. You need to just delete that shit. There we go. All right. Okay, now let's go to um, Gallant's Fall. I'll show you where it is. All right. Oh, well, bye everyone. <laughs> back to the pile. Yep, back to the pile. Back um, to the pile. Let's see. It's yeah. It's it's again southeast. It's very close to each point tower. It's Gallant's Fall in Arathi. Let's see if we can find it. It's very close, southeast of where we are. Southeast of our location. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. So uh, while we're flying here, it's 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 pretty short, so we guess we don't have to cut any audio or video out. Um, in case you guys haven't noticed yet, um, we're huge fans of Trailer Park Boys. So I think we both think it's a great show. Yeah. And apparently, the actor who uh, I think is called John Dunsworth, who yeah. plays Jim Leahy, he passed away. I think it was last week. Well, it depends on when this episode is live, but he passed away quite recently, which uh, really fucking sucks, because Jamie Leahy was probably one of my favorite characters. Uh, oof, I'm not sure if it's, it's my number one, but he's definitely up there. Right. Well, so. yeah, he's, he's, he's really good, and not only that, but I don't know. Episode 2, as of yet, uh, hasn't been uploaded yet, and I was going to say, we, uh, we were talking about how uh, eerie it was, because we brought up... Elysium, and we brought up how long is Trailer Park is going to keep going for. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, and, yeah. And not two days later, simultaneously, both things died. died. Yeah, and it was just like, um, you know, I'm not saying we predicted the future. I mean, coincident, you know, it's sometimes things are just a coincidence, but, yeah. uh, you know, Hamster Wheel might be part psychic. Ooh. So, but we just did we talked. Let's see what we talked about. We talked about uh, Mass Effect. We talked about what other things did we talk about? I already forgot. But like, so you're saying like all these things we t just talked about are gonna die soon too, or what? Is that what's gonna happen? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I <laughs> uh, something to that effect. I mean, yeah. It's it's uh, it does suck though. I mean, uh, I mean, fuck Elysium. I was never again. I was never. I knew from day one that server was a bad idea. Yeah. I knew the people running it. Uh, we're uh, we're Ruskies, and uh, the only thing you want to trust those people with, I'm going to be honest, is is alcohol, and even then you have to supervise them. You can only trust uh, them to rush B, basically. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I knew you know again, fuck Elysium. Like so, I, I knew from the start that that server was a mixed bag. I knew it was going to meet a bad end. Uh, and it, way, by it's, the way, oops. <laughs> okay. Um, and it was called. It was touched by what I call the Nostalrius fallacy. And what I, what I mean by that is, every time, ever since Nostalrius launched, private servers have been like fucked. I don't know. Like that that server was a blessing and a curse. That's a whole other conspiracy for another time. But anyway. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Fuck Elysium. It's like Trailer Park Boys is what I'm really depressed about. Like. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Jim Lee. He was a really cool dude. Uh. He had a YouTube channel, I believe, and he was just a humble dude. He just liked to drink and have fun, and he will be missed. Yeah, because I I believe he was just acting and drunk on the show, right? It wasn't like real. Uh, he drank a lot on the podcast. If you watch the podcast, he he drank a lot. I know, but it's like yeah. during the show, I guess he wasn't like as drunk as he acted out to be. I think I'm not sure, but could be wrong. Yeah, I mean, who who knows? I mean, it just again, I, it, the illness for what he died from hasn't come out yet, so I still don't know what the cause of death was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he'll he'll be missed. He was a definitely definitely uh, a cool dude. He was the liquor. I love. He that. was half the show. Yep. So I don't know if they're gonna end it or if they're gonna, because if they if they continue it, they're gonna they're gonna have to take it in some new direction. Yep, exactly. Because it's not it's not Leahy fucking them over anymore. They, they they can't do that. I guess it's now, I guess now Randy has to take has to be in charge of trying to fuck them over. I guess. Because that's what's gonna happen. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, I mean, shit. Sorry, I clicked on that. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it have to be something like that. It'll, it'll be interesting. Again, I, I actually got to do some research. I haven't read any statements by the people that are on the show. Yeah. So. It's kind of funny, know. by the way. I'm one shotting these mobs. Like, we're almost one shotting. It's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> you're like the, uh, you're like the John Rambo of this area. <laughs> Yes, because yeah. when you think Rambo, you think fucking hamster wheel. Oh, you do. No. Oh, there we yeah, go. There's exactly. the mob. Did you just see that she walked through the fucking wall? I mean, that's kind of that's the kind of stuff I mean. Like... Hamster wheel, give this server a chance. It's not their fault. They're retarded. 
Well, it is, because now it didn't even drop the orb. So, yeah. That's oh, yeah. one quest we didn't get to fucking do. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> just give this uh, thing a just give the server a chance and if another thing bugs out, it's like hey. <laughs> yeah, two seconds later. Two seconds later the, the orb doesn't drop. Yep. Oh, See yeah. I am a fucking I'm a prophet. Well I, I already knew this was gonna be messed up, so that's not that yeah. doesn't count. Yeah. You are you are psychic, like I was saying. You might you might uh you might be able to tell the future. Ooh. Like uh, you can foresee the dislike ratio on this being over a hundred. Holy shit, cutie Ill Illuminati music. Oh my god. I can't whistle for shit. <laughs> I tried to do the X-Files uh, intro song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just add that. Yeah. I think it might... Do I have that soundbite? Ooh. I have that one. Let me see. You fedora wearing scrub dogs. No. Oh, that, that's... Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, that was big man Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> Normies. Out. Out. <laughs> Rear. <laughs> Oh. Uh, that doesn't sound That's very good. That's not it either. No, nope, no. Nope. Damn it. I'm going to try one more time. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, you know what? That's enough I... of that. I just. Cannot find it for the life of me. I'm so glad Dubstep kind of died off and went back into obscurity again. Oh my god. I most just like, think of like the most annoying music you can think of and then just times it by 50. That pretty yeah. much sums up Dubstep. And Ugh. Don't get me wrong, there were some okay tracks here and there, but most of the time it was just like, oh my god. Really? I couldn't I find one. I honestly tried. I honestly, this is not like I've been trying to avoid it as best I can. I could. I honestly gave Dubstep a fair chance. I was able to see, you know, I'm not gonna just listen to Skrillex and say Dubstep sucks. Cause that, that's kind of unfair. Right. Because Skrillex was in like the top 40 at one point. Did you get the head, by the way? Oh, I, I did. I yeah, I did. It. Nice. Yeah, I got it. So that's one. Uh, that's one completed. So I did actually look at some more Dubstep artists, but I just could not get into it. It's just, it was. I don't. I wonder what to describe it. It was just like, just didn't really. I just didn't like it. It was like a wall wait, of wait. noise. So, sorry to interrupt you. What was the head again? What was the quest called for that? Um, Oracle R's head. It's called the Real Thread. But I, I see you looted it. You should okay. have it. I just don't want it to be one of those things where we get back and it's like, oh, god damn it, Nomad. <laughs> god damn it, Nomad. Yeah, that's the pretty much the catchphrase for the whole series. It's buy and, uh, and god damn it, Nomad. Hashtag blame Nomad. I'm blame Nomad. Okay, well, you still need to kill, to kill these for the sigil of Strom if it actually drops. Okay. And um, yeah, we still have like ten minutes left before I want to wrap this up. Okay. Because I'm going on a little vacay. That's the hip way to say, it, right? Vacay. You want to tell the viewers about your vacation? Um, I'm going away for a little weekend to chill and relax with my parents and my brother. Just a little. Right. This is this is a short family holiday, basically, where I right. can just uh, get away from it all. Because I have such a hard life, man. It's the hard knock mm -hmm. life. The privacy. Oh, there we go. There we go, there's the sigil. Did you get it? No, it said it says you got it. I didn't Oh fuck, oh okay. Well then need to then we need to farm more. Okay. But yeah, it's the hard log knife uh, the hard knock life playing all these private servers, man. It's just it's tough. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this server's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the what the fuck, hamster wheel? Why did you fucking select this server, you dumbass? There's no other servers we could have done. I mean, yeah. in, the, in the S, it's like you said, it's either do a million videos on a good server or do a few on a really bad server. So, yeah, it's uh, just one of those things, man. I need, I do. I'm gonna ask you to actively check these mobs though for the sigil. Now you're gonna have to. Are yeah. you ready? Are you ready for this, Doctor? You're gonna have to pay attention now. I'm actually gonna have to do the game for one. Yes, play the game. Don't just rant about SJWs and all the other bullshit. Just play that game. Okay, let's Play see. That game. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> this again. <laughs> okay, let me see if she drops it. Oh, there we go. Yes. All right. Okay, that's that's two completed. Now we just need to hey, get all right. another sigil. Yeah. yeah. All right. We got it. We got it. Huh. This is going great. A grandy stare. I'm going ghost. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're going ghost. So guys, um, I'm uh, making a new guild it's called Ember Ghost Squad. You know, Ember's if you're Ghost. a fan of Danny Phantom, uh, you know that's uh, cool. You can join. <laughs> does this does that show have like a cult following? Well, it did. <laughs> well, it, before <laughs> I started fucked it up, but did it have it, one? Uh, yeah, it used to, and uh, you know, it was actually not a bad show. I actually watched it when I was growing up. Yeah, I thought uh, it was not ba bad. Back too. when it was, it was not bad. Uh, it was kind of like what I would call a uh, Nickelodeon version of Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, you know, it had definitely a lot of the same tropes. Um, I liked it. I think it was decent. I think Butch Hartman kind of killed it off because he didn't know what to do with it. And then he tried bringing it back. And uh, Randy Stare killed all hopes and dreams for that happening. So <laughs> Killed. <laughs> Yeah, nice no, problem. literally killed like the dreams for that show ever coming back. So yeah. I mean, I, I heard it's gonna come back in some limited capacity on uh, on what do you call it YouTube. But I think the chances of bringing it back for good now are, are over. And it's actually pretty funny. My 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 friend recently just uh, met Coach Hartman in really in real life. Yeah. And I asked him, did you ask him about uh, Ember's Ghost Squad? And <laughs> Jesus. My friend just deleted my comment, and I was like, "All right, I'll take that as a no." Yeah. <laughs> There's still no sigil, by the way. Uh. Don't no, it still hasn't dropped yet. Oh my god. Yeah, it's still. No it's, bueno. it's gonna be one of those. It's gonna be one of those episodes, my friend. What a one of those. We can just drop the quest. Actually, we're almost level thirty. Yeah, let's, let's kill a few more and then we drop it. I don't think the viewers really want to... They're, they're here for top-notch entertainment. Like, Oh, yeah, of course. On par, yeah, sure. on par with a fucking George Lucas movie. So right. they don't want to see us killing Mark of fucking Syndicate whatever for an right. hour straight. They want to yeah. see us killing Syndicates and Ogres. Because, you know, we're all about that diversity. Oh, for sure. We're just, for sure, uh, my friend. <laughs> Yeah, um, let's let's can, fuck it. Let's can, let's just go back. Yeah, can we actually make a quick edit here? I think somebody just stopped by my house. So oh sure, yeah. Let me uh, here, let me put. I'm gonna put you on follow. follow. All right. All right, we're back. All right, we're back, people. All right, hey 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 everybody, please please stop. Please. Hey everybody. Do you like uh, do you like Reddit? Do you, can you guys relate? Please Reddit. Do you like it? Please sub. Please, please, uh, donate to my, uh, stream, please. <laughs> Guys, I'm not sure if my, uh, donation button's working. Can someone donate just to check it? Please, like, guys, look, I know I'm an upcoming streamer, but please, please. I, I have nothing else, I have nothing to offer, and, uh, you know, it's just... What kind of bow do you have? Oh, there you go, you have a short ass, bro. You get another bow from this one. I need a new weapon, thank God. Nice. All right, there we go. Finally got rid of that piece of shit spear. Nice. Nice. Uh, wait, you can you can you can wield. Wait, let me just equip that so you at least have two daggers, like two weapons. You're gonna right. look, you're gonna look awesome now. It says I need to learn it though. No, you don't have. You don't yeah, have to I have to wield. actually go. That's no, fine. no. Wait, no, no. I'm good. All right. Never mind. <laughs> We're good to go. Look at that. Two whole daggers. Yeah. Look at that. That shit. All right, people. Oh, yeah, I think man. we're gonna end the episode here. Um, we've got level thirty-two, so we're ready for the uh, what is it called again? Hinterlands. There we go, Hinterlands. So next episode, you'll be seeing us in the Hinterlands again. Sorry if it's a little short this episode, but um, I just uh, I wanna. I love how Boogie sucks is like right in front of the middle of the fucking <laughs> shot, <laughs> <laughs> and Trigly Puff is like way in the background, being all triggered and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. She's yeah, just she's not even looking at the episode. She's already. She's, she's moved on. She's just she's just shit posting in the uh, the comment section. Yeah. Get your yeah. hate stream off this campus. Get your hate speech. Off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just non. You know. Just chanting the same shit. You can't get any logic or anything through her head. It's just. It's that. It's that. Know. That screaming and that arm fat flapping around like a loose yeah. fucking whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, all the normal people just shake their head and just. Yeah. Exactly. Walk, like. Just, walk away. Just ignore her. Just ignore her. She yeah. has. She hasn't had much oxygen when she was born. <laughs> She just, uh, you know, she's retarded, and it's like, oh, look at her. She thinks she thinks she has an opinion. You know, she, she has an opinion, but it's like she thinks other uh, she she thinks other people give a shit about her opinion. That's cute. Right. She has an opinion, but it's wrong. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. Um, thanks again for watching. If you've made it to the end, please post in the comment section. Um, beef burger. I don't beef fucking burger. know. There we go. There beef we go. burger. Something Beef like that. burger or happy late Halloween. There ha you go. Happy late Halloween. There you go. That's actually better. Post that. Happy late Halloween. Happy late Halloween. All right, guys. We will see you later. Bye. 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 <laughs>